with me here. a bit more love I can salvage this beast I just need to find the right tool for each problem it's not like I need a manual but I'm really glad it's here Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Stan Stanwick here, and we've got a special treat for all you Sunday Funday listeners out there. Live in Seder Studios, Skip Matthews, lead singer of Pisshead, one of the Bay's hottest new bands. Say hi to the fans, Skip. This thing is going to hi, fans. fuck up. Now, Skip, I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Is that true? <clears throat> I used to. I, uh, I, I, uh, quit, actually. Really? Well, hold on to your horses, folks. It's Skip Matthews loose. Is that has traded in How can I tighten it? Six shooter for a life of rocking faces. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from Pisshead. And if you haven't heard these guys yet, what I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. If anyone complains, what do you tell them, Skip? Uh Pisshead rules? <laughs> Nailed it. Much better. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Nothing doing. Help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from whence we came. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. There. Fits like a Deadly electric glove. I can definitely maybe.
spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey, holy shit, your hair, it's so <laughs> badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot, but yeah, badass too. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? <sighs> it's right here. Obviously, I was going to give it to you. You don't have to be such a dick about it. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, Suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See? You two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. 
I didn't go to a fancy academy. But that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. Why do you care so much? Because... fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah! Uh! Uh! <laughs> oh, you fucking bitch! Rachel is going to be all right. 
The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was curious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream but I don't know what happened. And then, we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this, I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be... Sometime before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. 
I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. One more hour of waiting and I would have read that. Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? All right then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. Well... It was nice meeting you. Likewise. Oh, excuse me. If I want to stay sane, I need... Anthony seems like a good father. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. I figured it might fit with my new barbarian look. You know, a war paint. Awesome. Nerds. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What? happened she got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick seriously it, it wasn't because of me was it no somehow we've got our own shit with him now that's crazy fuck that guy I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. 
Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. That'll be an interesting read. Ooh, I want to eat that. Right now. Those must be from Steph's parents. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. I... I mean... No pressure. I, I know it's gonna take a while. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh. Oh, right, right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, y you don't want that pudding, right? Uh, I'll take it off your hands for you. Over my dead body. Wonder if a little friendly competition will cheer Drew up. Let's see if I can convince Drew that I need the pudding more than he does. Good thing we're in a hospital because they'll know exactly what to do with your corpse. Oh. <laughs> you don't scare me, Chloe Price. Know what's scary? The shit they put in cafeteria pudding. Animal connective tissue causes cancer. Doesn't matter. I'm going to eat this pudding, and there's nothing you can do about it. You're keeping that all to yourself? Don't you care about me? Love pudding. Barely like you. So, no. Let's duel for it. Come on, you and me, you have thumb wrestling. Best two out of three. You don't know when to quit, do you? Okay, I give in. We can share it. Now that is an interesting idea. Oh man, that's really good. Really, really good. You're a monster. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Hey, 
Can I sign your cast? Go for it. Hmm. Something encouraging. But not too encouraging. There you go. Thanks a lot. Anytime. It's kind of nice that I can bum around here while I'm waiting for Rachel. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Next time, maybe I'll share. Maybe. Next time. <laughs> sure. Oh, and Chloe? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Guys Control. look exhausted. No, it's completely out. It extinguished itself. How could that be? I'm so re Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you. So much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I don't know about that. You saved her, didn't you? When everything happened, I, I just... I froze up. That you were there for her when she needed you. That's what matters. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well... Hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. No visitors, huh? Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen by... I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist. Because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. 
please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious psychiatric- My son needs nothing from you. He put down a couple of bullets who were harassing him. Rachel's probably waiting for me.